We just want to take a quote from the, the coach, the manager of the Super Eagles, Gannot Roy. Uh, a few days before that match, they'd say, uh, we don't have the players that have that personal skill, that character to change the game, to win the game for Nigeria, uh, just as we had in the days of J.J. Okocha and, of course, uh, Kanu Wankwo. Uh, players that can individually change the pace of the game, mm. win the game for Nigeria. Uh, are we moving from that era? I think it's, um, I don't want to sound very fair or harsh to the coach, but I think it's pretty much an uninformed statement. Uninformed because you're telling me, are you saying players shouldn't retire? Are you saying players shouldn't face out? It's not, it's evolution. It would, for that time, always catches up with everybody. I mean, we are here in 2018, we will not be here in 2050. And that's the story of what the Nigerian football team has become. And it's not peculiar to the national team alone. We see teams create personalities. We see um, national teams create personalities. It may not be the job of the coach to create that personality, but you saying that we don't have that personality is in a way um, quite disturbing even to the psyche of the players because you're telling me now that you're comparing me to the judges of a culture because every player has got its own good, its own advantage, what it brings to the team, what it doesn't bring to the team. Our best to, what's the word now, get the best out of each player. So it is a job of a coach, even at national level and the club level, to find the best part of these players, bringing it together. And for even for General Dwight to come out and say that is quite disturbing because another angle I would like to looking at this from is, how about you use that feeling of not having a one star man or two star men in your team and put it to the advantage of your team? How about you have a solid unit? How about you keep your team close? We've seen the Iceland team is, for, is, is for one, a, a very good um, uh, example. There is no big player in Iceland. Goodmanson, yes. Sigurdsson, yes. But you can't, we can't say Sigurdsson is a world beater on his day. But they don't have the big players. They've never had big players, but they are going to the World Cup. They were at Euro 2016, qualifi qualified for the four quarterfinals, defeating England. So we look at this and we are saying, yes, we can't bring back Rashidi Yekini, we can't bring out Kichuku, we can't bring out those great people. But with the ones we have, we need to get the best out of them. And even you, when you say you don't have the best players of win game winners of the last time, of, of, of yesteryears, I beg your pardon, the likes of Alex Uwobi are doing quite well for us now. Um, the likes of... Um, Trust Ekong as well. These names may not be in good comparison when we just to with the old ones, but I think we should cut these boys some slack. We shouldn't expect to have JJ play for life. Maradona didn't play for life, but guess what? They've produced Messi. They've produced Aero. They've produced Lavezzi. They've produced players that could win games as well. And these guys are not that phenomenal players, but they are players that are getting by and being in the team and forming like functional units. So I, I don't think it's a good statement. I, I wonder and I worry because now he needs to probably get a good psychologist or probably be that good psychologist to psych up those players because you are putting them in a very, very difficult position when you're comparing or JJ to Kanu. They are players of different abilities and different uh, characteristics. That's what I think though. So, so do, do we lack match winners like JJ and Kanu in, in this squad? Look, uh, I, th I think, you know, in, 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 the mar in the modern era, you've got to be a, a bit um, realistic. And, uh, you know, as much as I, I see uh, the, the, the points in what JD says in that, you look, the different generations, and in truth, you don't expect JD to play forever. But I think, genuinely, what we've got to realize is that we've got a good crop of players, you know, who are in our, in our squads. Do we have the match winners in the, in the mold of the Kano one calls the Sunday releases, you know, the JJs? I don't think so. Um, but we've got good players, so it's it's. I think the comments to the average fan or to the average um, to the average follower of the game, mm. you know, makes it's it's a stark you know disparity. But I don't think the disparity is that much. Yes, JJ was a fantastic footballer, but I think we've got good skill in, in the likes of Kelechi here and Acho, who could score your goal on any day. He's proven in the Premier League, and you know you can make arguments for and against because you know JJ played in the Premier League, but you could argue also that it was different dispensations. And Kelly Chihanacho has more goals than JJ in the Premier League, of course. So I think you can always, always make arguments for whatever you know, agenda you want to push. I think Victor Moses and the likes have shown the Premier League winner. So you've got to factor all of that in as well. I just think you know, if you're talking match winners purely from their individual ability, we don't have that, those players. But we've seen what Leicester did in, you know, two seasons ago. We saw what Let's Go Madrid have become in La Liga you know, two seasons or four seasons ago, we saw Dortmund, not with the biggest players, 
So we can always draw inferences from team ethic and teamwork and hard work and belief and that bonding to create what you have a fantastic team. And if you look at the, 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 the stats, you would favor teams that are more closely knitted together. Because I feel on any day, if you have a, a group of 11 hardworking players without one star man, they would always defeat the team with one star player or two star players who are not as hardworking. So and maybe and that's the, 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 the mold we need to start mm, thinking in. Yeah, and then again, you look at it, and when JJ was in Super Eagles, how well did we do? No disrespect, just look at the stats. Yes, we went to the World Cup, but on the continent, were we a super powerhouse? He was a super powerhouse. He was a super player, JJ and Kanu Wanko. But um, yeah, we won the, I think, um, Tunisia 94 uh, with um, Kanu was only in that team, but JJ was in that team. But after that, I, I don't think, okay, uh, maybe 2000, um, Nigeria, Ghana 2000, um, we got to the finals. But did, we, did, did they really deliver to the national team? Well, well, you look at the golden generations in time past, you know, the golden generations are never uh, guaranteed to win anything. Mm. and. Yes, you could draw inferences with the England sides of, the, of, of time past. You could draw inferences with the Argentine squad pre presently at the last World Cup. Couldn't win it. And you had to have Lionel Messi in that team. You could go back to the Portuguese squad where they had Pauletta, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, FIBA won the, the 2004 Euros. But what I'm saying, you know, bottom line is that the, the star players, the, the star quality, never really guarantee anything. Especially in an era where players, you know, are overanalyzed by their oppositions, you know. So if you have, for example, the JJ, you know, playing in this era. Fantastic footballer. But the chances, you know, he will create magic or score a goal out of, you know, pull a, uh, a rabbit out of the mm. hat, that's quite slim. The problem is because, because, the prob because, you know, <coughs> official managers now mm. are very detailed. Yeah. You know, they overanalyze you and make sure they can shut you down, you know, and very few can come up out of that, you know, the Lana Messi and the Cristiano Ronaldo. So I think if you look at the likes of Kelechi Hanacho, the likes of Wobis, Victor Moses, you know, I if we harness that talent into a strong working unit where everybody knows, look, I'm not playing for myself. I'm going to run into the ground for Alex Wobi if he loses the ball. I'm going to shout back before. We have a far stronger squad. I, 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 wor I worry for statements like that. I, I'd like to say again because these days you got to be careful what you say to players. You got to be careful because the way you treat a player, the way you mention things to a player, the ma every player has got a particular way they want to be attracted. The way you attack a player like Yaya Toure has to be different from the way and the player like David Silva. For example, Jose Mourinho is having a good, a big, big problem handling Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw seems like a child, like a baby, like a petulant child that yeah. wants to be, you know, giving sweets every time to leave. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jose Mourinho wants a man. Now, Janet Ra has said some of these players are not, you know, the kind of players that could win your matches, but I think it's a very, very wrong thing to say. And I also think it's unfair because you cannot compare some players. I was having a discussion with my father recently and um, I was showing him video clips of Messi and he was telling me, who is Messi? That he doesn't know Messi. That do I know Nascimento? That's Pele. So when you look at this, you look at players, you look at, it's, it's a generational thing. Yeah. This conversation of better players, match winners. Um, so some people, they tell you, um, Figo isn't as good as Ronaldo. People who watch Figo, a lot would have told you that you know Ronaldo isn't in his class of Figo. And then I said Messi was the best player, and my father of older generation was saying it was Pele. If we have a conversation with another person slightly in the mid 40s, would say Maradona. So all these things where you say match winners, I don't think Nigeria is lacking match winners. Look, I, I, just, I just think you know, if, uh, as, as an international manager, which can you know, he is um, coming with the with the ideology of managing ex expectations which is something I agree with, you know, sometimes you've got to, you know, temper uh, the, the, the feeling, the good mm. mood the fans have because it could be counterproductive. Make sometimes. it realistic. They make it realistic. But look, I'm more for positive energy, especially you're talking less than, you know, 90 days to the World Cup. I think it's about positive energy because the World Cup is going to finish after a month anyway. So mm. how about say we give it our best shot? How about say we hype it as big as we can, you know, make it feel good factor. Let's just go out there, make sure every single player you have selected understands what it means to the country from a psychological point of view. Mm. You know, yes, the football is there, but I always have a conversation with uh, one of uh, my colleagues at the office, and the underlying thing we always say is a lot of Nigerian footballers, you know, of this generation, or maybe in time past, you know, if I'm allowed to say, mm. do not understand the magnitude of the World Cup. You know, the magnitude of the World Cup is, is, is so huge. Some of them it's, are actually it's, not, not, it's, not... It's super big, you know. So you've got to realise it's an absolute privilege to be at the World Cup. To be at the World Cup, you know, out of uh, an easy uh, 200 million people, 
you know, you have the privilege of being selected, not because you're the best, but obviously if time and factor and things like that mm. allow you to be there. So if every single player realizes what the World Cup is and what it means to the country. Especially to the fans. To the fans as well. Then I think we could get at least 120% out from each player that can pull us forward. So I don't think we need a JJ or a Kano or that <laughs> comparison. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, uh, of point. course, we have been on the issue, do the Super Eagles lack uh, match winners like Austin JJ Okocha and Juan Kwakano? Uh, we'll wait to see as the team develops and play more friendly uh, before the World Cup. Follow Hot Sports on social media. We are at Hot Sports NG on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.